I know we're going to go deeper. I don't know what illusionary hero means with this title, but I know we're going to go deeper into, into Tsukushima, so I cannot wait. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Haikyuu. I don't have a lot of time to record this. I have to go somewhere relatively soon, so I am going to make this quick. I loved last episode. I know we're going to get some deep character development with Tsukushima. Cannot wait for that. Cannot wait for more training to see where this leads off into in the preliminaries. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length, check out that Patreon down below. If you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a comment, it really helps push me up there into the algorithm. And then don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the live streams and for the updates. I will see you guys in this episode. Uh, Haikyuu Season 2, Episode 8, Illusionary Hero. Oh. Uh. He used to get bullied hard. Oh, Oh, baby Tsukushima. That's how they met, maybe? Look how big he is. Look how tall he was <laughs> at that age. They kind of stuck with him. I can understand how that could inspire you. Tsukushima was the ace. His older brother, older Suki. And look at him, already more passionate, more outgoing, we can tell. Oh no. And so, yep. Yep. This is when Giant was there too, so it would make sense. And then the Giant took his spot. Just like Hinata is rivaling for Tsukushima. They're both middle blockers, stuff like that. I don't know. That's crazy. Look how tall he is. Wow. Three lunches. <laughs> that is a good mom right there. I forgot ace isn't isn't a position it's just the ten, the term of someone who is like the the leader gets the most points ace can be any position right and he was definitely lying by saying yeah so real quick um real real quick just to confirm with me because i know i i am constantly forgetting because they, they throw the word ace all the time i'm always like yes ace 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 it's a position so if someone in the, in the comments no spoilers obviously could let me know just a list of all the positions like what is there six people on the court actively at one time so there should be six positions i know there's the libero but not always actively on the court there's middle blocker and honestly and the setter that's pretty much it so what is Asahi's position? Is he side blocker, spike, side spike, I don't, wing side blocker? I don't know. So if you guys want, I, don't, I just don't want to be stupid anymore. Thank you guys. Young Suki, looking dapper. Dapper squad as always. His brother was definitely lying about being the ace. He said the same as junior high ace. He said, yeah, he said, you're going to, I'm going to be, and that's why he said, I'm going to be nervous of the game if you come watch, so you can't come watch. But, you know. Oh, there's Yamaguchi again. So he got into it what from what seemed like Tsukushima getting into it, whereas Tsukushima got into it because of his brother, you know? <laughs> he's all embarrassed, but he like, you know, he, he loves it. He's like, he's like the ace. He's the ace of a power... <laughs> That's so cool, kids talking like that. You know Tsukushima loves talking like that. I don't think he's telling the truth. I don't think he's the ace. Obviously, because it's the little giant who's the, the powerhouse, you know? Akiteru. Oh, 
He lied the whole time. This was the last game of the in his uh, prefecture too. He's a third year. He doesn't see his brother out there. There's a little giant. That's the wing spiker right there. That's the ace. Oh no. He not even on the team? Cuz you can't even be a bench warmer up in the stands, right? Like he he had to be on, he has to be on the team. He has to just be a backup. So that's why he talks about the the natural born talent of someone like Hinata, you know? And he's creeping up behind you, you know? And here comes the voice of reason that he needs. Oh, please, Yamaguchi, speak some sense into our, our tall brother. Right? You just have to be better than that. That's, that's, that's the best way to put it right there. You literally have all the tools at your disposal. The only thing stopping you from doing this is you. So what? There's no point to do anything in life? Just because you're not the best in the world? Come on. Come on, you can't think like that at all, Tsukushima. Oh, this is so well needed. The moon rise. <laughs> He's been cool for a minute. Ah, uh, that's so good he said that, though. Okay. What are you gonna ask? I do remember that. There has been that little spark in him, you know? <laughs> That's a good impression. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yes, let's hear it. I have a for something that's a what if, you know? But yeah, I mean, that's a very good point, you know? Like it has no real value to your life, you know? <laughs> that's the basic root question you need to ask yourself. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Really? Hell yeah. He looks nasty. Oh. Alright. That's the same thing that the it's very similar to what Yamaguchi's coach said, you know, like he's like he's working so hard, you know, but he had that he had his moment like same thing that uh, Bokuto had he, the, the guy who's teaching Yama, the floating serve. He had his moment and he felt that he was like and that's why he holds the ball and he still feels like it's still worth it to this day. And he graduated fucking what eight years ago whenever ukai was back at school so it's like it's definitely worth it it's definitely there you know like but i also absolutely get where tsukushima is coming from he's like 
for working so hard for doing all of this, what do you get out of it? You either gonna are gonna become delusional enough to tell lies to your own family to avoid being looked at a certain way, or what? You're gonna be able to write, I worked really hard on your resume. But like, I, I get both sides, but I'm definitely more on the side of Bokuto. Cause like, you gotta think, I'll use my like my reaction channel as an example. I wasn't making money off YouTube, Patreon, anything like that for so long. So like the fact that I had to stick with it until it became something that's actually viable, I did it purely because I liked it and I still love it so much. You know, watching anime is the thing I love to do. So it's, I, I, I get both sides. I definitely do. I love how they animate him right here. He's so intense, that aura, you know? Yeah, I can I can feel that. Once that moment arrives for you, you'll be there. I haven't even fucking touched a volleyball since high school, and I'm already hooked. I want to go play volleyball anytime I watch the show. Does Yamaguchi's shirt say feet picks? Fix? I thought it said dicks for a second. That's it. I didn't even know it was that ingrained into them. He's the sun, Suki's the moon. It even resembles in their hair. Orange hair versus white, like platinum blonde hair, you know? It's crazy. He really is the moon. Makes sense. And then there's a hard block, the kill block. I like that term, the kill block. <laughs> Yeah, she's so cute. Oh, the animal. <laughs> oh, he got so scared. He had to do that. He got so scared. Oh, oh, he got so scared. He, he, which no. Which that just gives more points to Bokuto. He was able in that split second to see, oh my fucking god, gotta change it up. Which definitely shouts out to Bokuto, but oh my, the way they animated his cold dead face, just like, oh god, crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, the one that you thought might not evolve, the one issue. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Only rise more. Only rise new heights. Oh, I love the show. So I didn't write anything down that episode, even though it was fantastic as always. Tsukushima. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I, like I said, I get where he's coming from a lot and immensely, but with him and his very specific situation, I understand why he wouldn't. But I just want to know why is he still playing then? Because a little part of him must have some sort of passion for it, even though he said, not really, it's not that fun. I get where Bokuto was saying, you haven't had that thing to tell you, hey, this is your calling, this is it. The Tsukushima is very competitive. He still is like, why are you doing this if you're not going to be the best, if you're not number one? But he also hasn't had the drive to really show himself that he has the potential of being number one. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation he put himself in. But now that he's been able to kind of wiggle himself out, which I love the flashback to Yamaguchi, how he helped him. Not he, like he helped him, but like not even really. And then like for Yamaguchi to turn that back around and then for him to say, how, when did you get so cool? You've always been cool. Like, cause you got to think about it. Yamaguchi, if, if your homie's been there for some of your darkest, you know, most embarrassing times and they're still with you, still encouraging you, that's a true friend. Yamaguchi, if anything, is a true friend he's a real one and we all need real ones like yamaguchi in our life so i just you know i appreciate that immensely i love the animation with that blocking i love how kuro gave him some advice on how to block because because truthfully like even though he's naturally talented because he's so tall and has a skinny like long body 
Like, Bogus was like, your blocks are low-key ass. I was thinking I was going to break your arm by sp spiking it into you. So I'm glad he actually genuinely got some real blocking advice and everyone else noticed. I still think there's going to be a, an injury that's going to take someone out for a potential, potentially important match. And that's going to suck because I don't want us to lose. But I hope that happens right here versus happening in the actual preliminaries because that would suck. But I am so looking forward to this next episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Remember, check out that Patreon if you guys want it. Peace out, Dapper Squad. Thank you so much.